learning how to love and do it is my highest purpose in life. Hello, lovely people. For those who don't know me, I'm Michał Kali Griggs. The boundaries, uh, consent, uh, and the awareness about this, um, it's a um, very important topic. Uh, um, exercising, uh, learning, uh, expressing uh, uh, our boundaries, uh, our limits. Uh, uh, feeling uh, that they are uh, respected, uh, that they are heard, uh, it's uh, one of the most uh, beautiful uh, and most important thing uh, what uh, we can learn uh, at the Tantric workshops uh, uh, when uh, we feel uh, free to express ourselves uh, and we feel that it would be respected, that uh, we uh, can trust much more into the process and we can go much deeper into it. So that's why uh, we uh, guide this uh, at the beginning of every of uh, our module, um, that the new people can uh, um, adjust all the practice what follow uh, uh, to this uh, what we are going to learn today. So yes, um, very often uh, uh, people have a uh, blockage, uh, we call it a bottleneck, uh, here uh, in the throat chakra. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, bodies, a lot of blockages uh, we are, have here by uh, not ability to, to express ourselves. So every time when we express ourselves, we actually uh, remove these blockages. We make it uh, the, the energy may flow uh, much better. So one of the way of uh, uh, dealing with the throat chakra blockages is speak out. Speak out, speak out. Uh, use your voice also during the class, massage classes. Uh, Dance with your body, sound with your breath. When you sound with your breath, you not only make the energy flow, but you also make your throat chakra uh, working for you better. Yes, so practice, do it, do it, do it. Um, and of course, uh, if we still, after my repetition, repetition, repetition of uh, sound with your breath, you still don't do it, there is a blockage, what it's holding you back from doing it, yes, uh, it can be connected with your mind story, oh no, it doesn't work, or whatever, oh, and it's, but uh, when you start to doing it, you will see how much better is the massage, uh, how much better you may feel giving the massage, if you just sound with your breath. Also, uh, expressing your limits before every exercise, uh, you can express your limits. We're going to uh, exercise many of this uh, during uh, this introduction evening. And um, yes, every time when you speak out, you make it easy for yourself. And when you practice it here, this is uh, our uh, playground, safe place. Uh, but uh, yes, then outside, uh, in the outside world, the, uh, the, the life is wild. So as much you try here, the more stronger you are in the real life. Uh, and you can express yourself, you can speak out, you can tell the person about the limits. You can ask the person, may I touch you without uh, uh, yes, crossing hair or his limits uh, because uh, usually we do it uh, very unconscious and we just uh, come closer, a little closer and a little closer and then we accidentally put the arm on the someone's lap, see what's gonna be the reaction so and then you know if the reaction is like this uh, we are surprised but you know with uh, the awareness about the consent, about boundaries, about asking for permission, yes, we can avoid this uh, miscommunication. By doing this workshop, we also rebuilding the trust. Sometimes, uh, if we just ask the woman, hey, uh, may I massage your arm? And we just let her know that uh, we are asking her, we respecting that she will give us permission, and so, 
uh, that it create already big uh, comfortable space. It, it, it's already uh, the building the trust uh, in her, and it can be also great healing experience for her because maybe she never was uh, asked for permission. Uh, the, her boundaries were always bro uh, broken, and then suddenly someone is asking for permission. That's great new experience that she can connect. Oh, actually. Uh, the massage, you know, like uh, uh, can be uh, uh, beautiful, intimacy can be beautiful, doesn't have to be that it cross her boundaries, it uh, uh, doesn't respect her feelings and so. Uh, so. So when you give her that space, that uh, feeling, it can be like a uh, beautiful experience of liberation from the traumas which she had before. Do you have any questions about uh, this? Uh... Okay, so I will tell you uh, the uh, guidelines, uh, the main guidelines, how we do the workshops, uh, and um, well, yes, how we it's best to behave, and uh, uh, that we can all grow together. So one of the most important guidelines is that we don't have to do everything at the tantric workshops. Uh, so uh, it means that uh, if something is uh, too challenging, uh, uh, if you uh, are concerned about it, uh, um, if you think um, maybe, maybe yes, maybe not, uh, in Tantra maybe means uh, uh, rather not, uh, wait, uh, till you are sure about it. So, so yes. Um, it's best if you do it everything uh, uh, out of yourself, uh, um, not out of the pressure of the partner, not of the pressure of uh, the group. Uh, I please never do things out of the pressure of uh, my instructions. When you take care for your own uh, comfort, uh, when, you, when you take responsibility for your own safety, we will create a safe and comfortable space for all of us. We cannot make happy uh, someone by uh, sacrificing ourselves and being unhappy in this situation. So always uh, uh, feel uh, within yourself and uh, yes, um, before every exercise uh, I remind you very often, but sometimes not, but uh, before every exercise uh, you have rights uh, to speak out about your limits and no limits. So please take this opportunity if you feel uh, so. In your limits, no limits, try to find the variation of the exercise with your body, your heart, your mind and spirit will accept it. Uh, so, um, yes. Um, any questions about this guideline? So another guideline uh, is uh, that um, we would like to give you the best body and heart experience. Uh, so for that reason, uh, we ask uh, uh, that you ask uh, one of your best friend, mine, to sit on the side and to not to interfere. Uh, any talking, uh, any joking uh, from something particular, especially during the practice, uh, it's not only distract your own process, but also distract the process of anyone else to hear it. So uh, I know that uh, most of the people uh, who are coming for Tantra workshops, uh, they are coming for deeper reason than uh, shallow chit chat about the weather. So uh, let's respect this wish and let's uh, talk as less as possible, especially during the practice. For that reason, uh, we invented the sign language, so I really like now that we sit uh, uh, close to each other, that we can reach each other palms. When um, you do the piano sign, it means, uh, so everybody does. Piano sign, it means uh, slow down, it goes too far, mm -hmm. yes. And then uh, if you do it harder, so everybody does, does. you have to learn with your body also. Matil? You do on her as well. And then when you do it harder, it yeah. means stop immediately. Mm. I don't accept it. Yes? Sometimes uh, if I cannot reach you, 
I do it like this. It's more appropriate. It's, this means slow down, so everybody does it that we learn. Uh, so this means slow down, not waving, uh, it's just rising palm up. Yes, this is slow down, it goes too far. And this means stop immediately. I don't accept it. Yes. And there are uh, other beautiful signs. Uh, uh, when you stroke side to side, it means uh, I like it, go further. And uh, when you do it harder, almost like scratching someone, it means uh, I love it, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, sometimes uh, you cannot reach the person, you do it uh, like this. Uh, uh, this means uh, I like it, go further. And this means uh, I love it, go for it. Yes? So uh, use uh, better signs uh, than. Uh, Words. The science doesn't have uh, emotions, uh, so it also helps us uh, to support the process if we do the science instead of words. Uh, but of course, if you don't remember the sign, uh, speak out. Yes. Uh, any question about this? Uh, okay. So we go further. Uh, so another uh, guideline what we have uh, at the tantric workshops uh, is that uh, we have conduct of discrecy. So it means uh, we may speak about our own experience, uh, but we never speak uh, about experience of uh, someone else with naming that person. Does everyone understand that clearly? Someone do not understand that clearly? So now I like your enthusiastic answer. Do we agree with this? Yes. 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 Someone not? In that way, we promise ourselves to keep that promise. So, there are a few other things. Um, so, during the tantric uh, workshops, uh, love making, uh, practice, uh, massage, uh, healing may happen. Yeah? And that's one of the purposes of tantra. Uh, healing uh, manifests uh, as a release of the emotions. Yeah? So, um, Tantra Movement School, it's not only give you the teachings, uh, the techniques, uh, the wisdom, uh, but it also supports you on your own process of growth, process of healing, process of uh, uh, liberating from the conditioning, uh, uh, process of expanding in love, expanding in excess. So um, whenever uh, it happened to you, take this opportunity, cry it out, shout it out as much as possible. Thank you for your attention. I hope.